In this segment, we will cover um, alarm handling and event handling in operator client. Um, alarms and events come up in the same area of operator client and are handled um, pretty much the same way, but depending on the event or the type of alarm, um, the action that you take to clear the event may be a little different. Um, this will just be a high level overview of this. Um, this can get very complex very quickly. However, for most day-to-day -day use, this will be all that you need. If your organization needs assistance with any aspect of BVMS or any of your security systems, please contact your security system vendor or our professional services team at support at midchess.com or visit our website at www.midchess.com. So in operator client, depending on the privilege level of the user, you will see in the live air, uh, the live function of operator client down at the bottom, this is called the alarm queue. Um, several different pieces of information will show up in here. Throughout this video clip, you'll notice as cars cross this area here going up the road, there will be an alarm that, a pop, that pops up down here. Um, for the purposes of the demonstration, we have a rule set up on the camera um, that only it triggers an alarm when a car is going that direction. Um, again, this is just for a demonstration purpose and show how the alarm area of operator client works. So in this field, you can see things, um, you can see alarms based on motion, IVA events, if a camera falls offline, if a storage unit falls offline, it is pretty much an information center for the system. Mainly admins and system administrators are going to be the ones that see this information. Um, for some users, this may not be pertinent at all. Um, but the way you handle this area is if you receive an alarm, as there are several here, depending on how it is configured and set up, there may be a response to that alarm, there may be video playback from that alarm, um, and the operator may be forced to enter in some text or how the alarm, you know, explain how the alarm was processed, etc. That is all programmed through Configuration Client, which is a, another piece of the Bosch software. So as we can see, there are alarms listed in the queue here. Um, the way we have this one set up is when you double click on it, there will be a little clip of the playback. Additionally, you could put a map or a set of instructions here for the operator to follow based on the event. Uh, but that's completely configurable and able to be tailored and customized to whatever the user may need. To accept alarms and clear alarms, there's two different ways you can, you, can, you can do this. So we can either select alarms one by one and accept. Down here is an accept button and it will accept, accept the alarm we are clicked on at that time. So if we click accept, it will say accepted in the alarm status and then we can clear it right here. we have a large amount of alarms and we are not concerned about reviewing every single alarm, you can clear all the alarms at once by going up to the left hand side of the screen. Up at the top there is an alarms tab. If we click that, we can select all new alarms. So if no alarms have been, if, if the user has not accepted any alarms down here, by clicking accept on each one, we can clear all of them or accept all of them at one time. So if we say accept all new alarms, the status of all of these will change. And then we can go back up to alarms in the toolbar and hit clear all accepted alarms. Sometimes if there's several alarms built up, it will take a minute to clear all of them, but it will get rid of them all at one time.
So in addition to alarms based on motion or IVA, sometimes in systems, other third-party systems such as an access control system or a fence system can be tied into BVMS and uh, based on events within those systems, we can have cameras pop up um, around a perimeter or in hallways, et cetera. Those would be events in the system. Um, and based on those events, we can have different, different things that pop up. So they would still pop up down here, but they may look a little different. So for demonstration purposes, I set up some very basic events. They're just user-controlled events. So I can right-click in the logical tree and click user event one. you'll notice that there is a different color event that has popped up down here. All events and alarms can be configured to display different colors, different names. Um, they can come up for a certain amount of time. They can clear after a certain amount of time. It's really customizable. Um, if you have a map in the system and there is an alarm from an intrusion system, for example, you can have the icons on the map, um, the, the intrusion icons on the map actually blink if there is a, you know, an alarm state or the state of a door changes um, so that it's easier for the operator to immediately recognize there's a change. Just like with alarms though, you clear them the same exact way. You can click, hit accept, and you can clear, or we can go back up to the top, accept all new alarms, and then clear all accepted alarms.